This morning, we are starting off our show with one story that shows the joy in this world, but also the hope too. Bridge Bread Bakery is a place for members of our community to turn to. Members just like you or me or maybe your neighbor who did not have support that was broad enough or deep enough to see them through tough times. This place gives them a chance to start building a support system and to get back on track. A family to join when they felt no one was there. Here's a look of my day at Bridge Bread Bakery. If you notice, it says Bridge Bread, hope in the bacon. It's more than just hope in the bacon. It's hope in me now. It's more than a friendship. They're like kind of like my stepmom, stepdad, you know, like they got me out of jail before and like they're, they're family to me. Gloves, gloves, everything. Apron. Yes, What's that's next? part of the uniform. Okay, now we're going to take some flour. Okay. Located off of Cherokee Street lies Bridge Bread Bakery, but this cozy, warm kitchen goes beyond your usual flour and dough. Everybody's heard the bit about uh, if, you, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, and if you teach him to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. That only works if he's got a fishing pole and a way to get to the lake and a boat. Bridge Bread Bakery is a nonprofit who strives to employ individuals experiencing homelessness and provide them with marketable skills and reliable employment. Employees earn a living wage while learning or relearning the value of being self-sufficient, even having a social worker on staff to help. I get to find out what's going on in their day. They come in, they have a nickname for me, we like chat, but then they also come to me when they need help. You want to dump it out? Yeah, actually. You dump it out. Okay. Boom. Whoa. Just like that. Fred Domke and his wife Sharon first started the bakery in 2011, but the duo has always had a heart for giving, spending their time volunteering at local shelters before they decided they wanted to do more. We started thinking about, um, wouldn't it be nice that instead of making it more comfortable for people to be homeless, we could find a way to help them to be not homeless. I call Fred, I call him Papa Fred. Okay, anything I want to know, I can ask him. I can go, his door's always open. Uh, getting a job without an address, without uh, recent references, without recent work history is really daunting. We essentially feed our bakers kind of where they are and try to help them along the way uh, to getting back on track. That's enough. Well, yes, ma'am. A little bit too much. Too much. This is a buttery one. Employment at Bridge Bread is not just a paycheck, it is the relationships too. Andre was one of the first bakers back in 2011. After parting from Fred and Sharon, he returned back to Bridge Bread years later because for him, this place and these people are home. I mean, I can't really explain that because I get sensitive about it, like I don't want to cry. But yeah, that, like that's my motivation, just to come in for working. Like, cause the life that I live, I don't want, I don't want to go back, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to just stay motivated and stay confident and just want to come to work, you know? And we put 12 on the pan. You got that? 12 on the pan. Shopping these delicious pastries sure does satisfy your sweet tooth. Ooh, all right, all right. So come on, it. come on, Chef, you can do this. But it also supports a family a family who wants to remind everyone in this community to never give up. I'm moving to my own place this month. The love and, and companionship here fills you with a hope that you would never think existed. Because after all, there is hope in the baking. Don't give up. Here at Bridge Bread, hope is more than just in the baking, it's in us. They encourage us every day to go out and be the best person we can be. I'm a prime example. All right, take a look at your screen there. I had such an incredible day. Thank you to all of those bakers, Reggie, Andre, Fred. It was an amazing time. So keep in mind, you could support them. You can find the location right on your screen just by going and shopping for some baked goods there. They're also, of course, always looking for monetary donations to carry out their mission as well as volunteers.